everyone. Today we're creating a Valentine or sweetheart themed tutu dress and we're going to do layers. We're utilizing white premium tool, fuchsia premium tool, and red tool. We're also going to include some accents of rose petals in various colors. One of the other items that we're going to place on here is the double sided ribbon. It's red on one side and gold on the opposite side and it's just adorable when it's all put together into a bow or on straps. Now we're cutting our tool into strips three to four inches in width and we're going to make the ends rounded like a petal on a flower. Now this is a little bit more time consuming but I just love the way that it turns out each time. We're using a crochet top uh, maximum 22 inches in width but you can buy it by the yard and create it the width that you require. You can also create this on a crocheted band, make this into a skirt instead of a dress. Numerous options. You hear our new addition in the background. Uh, we're so happy to have her. Uh, we've got three new additions in the family, so uh, it'll be a little more noisy. Just bear with us. We're all in the learning process of everything. Okay, now, like I said, we're going to cut our strips into three to four inches in width, and then we're going to round the ends into the petal effect. We're going to use the slip knot method as we place our tool and we're starting with the white tool and that's going to be our bottom layer and that one is going to be longer than the rest. So to go over it real quick again, the supplies you're going to need are your handy sharpened scissors, your tool color choices, a crocheted band, a crocheted top, or an elastic or ribbon for your base. Accents and petals, loose petals, hot glue, your ribbon for your straps if you're creating that, and any other accents you're interested in using for your creation. We've already placed the first layer, which is the white. Again, it's the slip knot method. All you have to do is put your tool in half. Now, if you're doing the staggered effect, all you have to do is fold it over and have one end a little bit longer than the other, and that will create a layered or staggered effect for you. If not, fold it over and make sure that you bring the ends together as closely as possible. Run it through the crocheted hole, widen it with your fingers, bring the tails up through the hole you've created with your fingers, and gently pull down. Now we're ready for our, our second and third layers. And I'm just going to place our shorter length using the slip knot method. Bring them as close together as possible at the ends. Squishing that top area. Bringing it through the crocheted hole. Widening it with my fingers pulling the tails through and gently tugging down. Now I'm going to do one row of the hot pink or fuchsia shimmering tool and then I'm going to do the red and then I'll adjust the length again. Now something I want to focus on so that you can see it really closely, let me see if I can pull this up for you, is watch how if I don't squish this top part, what happens is I have a little bit of a mess right here. You can't really see it but it has excess tool at the top so now I'm having to take a moment and use my fingernail to push that down so I have a nice clean knot. So if you squish it really well up here when you're doing it the first time you can avoid that. Now it really won't make that big of a difference when you're creating this on the second layer. It's that last layer that you want your slip knots to be really nice and clean because that's what's going to show. I'm going to finish this row up and we'll go from there. As you see here, I'm going to speed through this. We have several videos that show the slip knot method. We're adding several layers and unfortunately you can't see the shimmering fuchsia. That red is just overpowering it. But I assure you it's there and it really looks lovely in person. So we've got red, 
in shimmering fuchsia and then we have the white as our bottom layer and the longest and they're all cut in the petal effect so to continue on we are going to add an accent of the rose petals in gold and red we've got some ribbon that's absolutely lovely it's red and then on the opposite side it's like a metallic gold so it kind of all goes together to attach the rose petals all you have to do is use your hot glue gun use that clear or the glitter all-purpose try not to use the white or a dark color because it will show through these rose petals as they are thin also when you're trying to buy some loose rose petals you shouldn't be paying more than 50 cents for a package of them so keep that in your hat for future reference uh, one of the places you can get it at, I believe, is Gifts International. Uh, I think Paper Mart has it. So just do your own search, but 50 cents or less is all you should be paying for these. Take your hot glue gun, put a dab of hot glue on the rose petal, make sure that you've moved the tool piece that you're working with away from the rest, and then gently press, making sure that it saturates petal to tool. Flip it over and move on to the next piece. You can also put the rose petal where you want it on the tool and then add the hot glue. It's totally up to you. You can also use that fabric fusion glue that is not hot glue but it will take longer to dry. Now what we're doing for the rose petals, we're just scattering them on the top layer throughout. So you're not going to need that many. And then we're taking our gold rose petals and we're attaching it to tool and the red. Kind of just make it a little pattern more defined. Now, if you find your hot glue dried up on you, just take that tip, that nozzle to your hot glue gun and run it across it and it'll heat it right back up for you. It's also a great way to get rid of any excess hot glue that you have. And remember, you can always go back and add more glue, but it is time consuming and messy when you're trying to take it off when you have too much. Feel free to take a look at the photos. You can see this completed. Unfortunately, my video messed up where I was putting on the ribbon for the straps. Be sure to take a look at our Dreamsicle 2 2 tutorial. It's got how you can add ribbon to make straps or around the nape. We thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Remember, anything that you create is going to be fantastic. Why? Because you took the time to create it. From my family to yours, have a blessed day. No time for DIY? Visit us at tutucute.com where customization is our pleasure. So many tears You've been there for me I've been there for you Look in the mirror And think this through Something as perfect and pretty As you I never could leave You gotta believe But you think my heart's not there Cause it's been a while You keep telling me it's been a while Let me tell you something Yes, I Together for so long You think that I can't see After these years You're still pretty, pretty to be told We grow stronger See, I need your love So don't worry about me Cause I still think you're perfect Perfect Pretty, 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 pretty,